Hi, I'm Heather Harrison, a real estate agent in Westchester County, and today I'm in New York City, and I'm going to be hanging out with Brianne Manns from Stroller in the City. Brianne's been living here in New York City for several years with her husband and three children. Today we're going to find out if that apartment might be getting a little bit too small, and maybe she's ready to leave the city for the burbs. Hi, Brian. Hi, how are you? Okay. Thank you so much for having me. Thanks so much for coming. Thank you. Come on in. Great. Yes. So this is it, huh? This is it. Small New York City apartment. So you have great views, I see. Amazing. Yes, we have amazing views. Yeah. Um, this is Battery Park City neighborhood, which we love and adore. We've been here for 15 years, but things are getting tight. So we are maybe thinking to expand. When we moved in, obviously this apartment was big to us. <laughs> <laughs> was so just the two of you? It was just the two of us. Um, this is our bedroom. And then um, we actually separated the bedroom wall. We put a wall up and then this is the kids' room. And they so adorable. have triple bunks. Look at this. So we make it work. We make it so work. Smart. But it's getting tight for sure. Even as their clothes are getting bigger. Right. <laughs> like this and space. their stuff gets bigger, right? Yes. Yes. It's a lot. So And how do they like living on the They one room? love this they idea. Do. We cute. originally had regular bunk beds and then a bed on this side. So this was you know, they were all thrilled with this idea. But bedtime I will say is not so easy. Oh, it's kind of fun up here actually. Ah! <laughs> I will say that it's oh my God. <laughs> I will oh say God. that it took it took like two <laughs> months to decide who was going where. Have you actually given some serious thought to leaving the we city have. for the burbs? Yeah, we have for sure. As the kids get older and their belongings get bigger and just everything, um, it's kind of we're yeah we're kind of getting forced out a little bit, you know. So I definitely think we're going to be able to find you um, some good places to live out in the suburbs that are going to have a perfect blend of suburban lifestyle with urban conveniences. Come okay, on, let's go do it. Sounds good. <laughs> All right, so we're almost to Westchester. Are you yes, excited to come see some I'm houses? I'm excited and I'm nervous because I think I'm going to find something I really like and then I don't know if I can <laughs> move this from the city. Do you think it'll be hard to convince your husband? No, not no. absolutely oh, not. Yeah, he would that. move us tomorrow if he could. Okay. So tell me a little bit about how you got started with Stroller in the City. So, how did you come up with the name and where it all came from? Um, so I come from a fashion background. Um, I went to FIT and um, I worked in fashion my entire life. I actually owned a fashion showroom and when I was having my son, I just was kind of overwhelmed. I had a showroom here in LA and Atlanta and I was, you know, kind of like, how am I going to, you know, have a baby and travel so much? So I decided to sell it. And within selling it, I, about a year after being a mom, I decided I'm going to start this blog for friends and family only, documenting our life in the city, some like fun finds I was finding being a mom. Um, and then I started trolling in the city and it just, you know, it started out as a style blog and as the years just went on it grew in followers and obviously social media changed so I got onto Twitter and I got onto Facebook and I started going to events and uh, brands started coming to me. So this is actually our first house here oh, it's so at pretty. 10 Hudson. Come on in. Okay. Let's go. So let's check it out. Ken Hudson Place. Wow. Pretty beautiful, right? Yes. Yeah. So this was completely custom rebuilt wow. by the current owners in 2014. Okay. So every wow. inch has been redone. It's stunning. It really is beautiful. Yeah. It. Beautiful custom. And I see work. It has the second floor. Something it that does. Like Your kids might need to learn how to walk up the stairs. <laughs> yes. So actually, right here to the right, we have a beautiful formal living room that wow. they've actually turned into a music room. So this is a true gourmet oh, kitchen. Oh, it's stunning. <laughs> it's stunning. Every inch has been redone. You oh have beautiful Carrera marble, all custom cabinetry. It's unbelievable. Top of the line it's appliances. Gorgeous. And what's even yeah. nicer is that you're really open into the family room. Yeah. And you have so much natural light coming into the yes, house. I and love that there's windows all around. It's really, really nice. You have a beautiful fireplace. You have an actual separate breakfast eating area so just for breakfast. And then this is really nice that you can go right into the dining room too. So from an entertaining perspective, wow. it's really beautiful and yes. formal and, and really easy living. So nice. Yeah, I love the windows. It's really I incredible. think it's great. 
I can already picture my Christmas tree in the corner. <laughs> it's so great. So one of another great feature about this house is a mud room. Oh. What? <laughs> Each child! Yep, I need this. we have one for everyone. Uh, this is awesome. This is what I envision in my house. But clearly right, and it comes in right floor. here. The garage comes in right in here. That's so great. Right, so you can bring your packages out of sight. Awesome. Right? Oh, there's this a can garage. be messy. That's yes, one, one car attached garage. I know that's important for your husband. For my husband, not really. <laughs> for him, yeah. So this is oh, super how cute. Fun. <laughs> right, I so love this is the one bedroom. Here too. It's cute. It's very whimsical. You get. Each kid gets their own closet. Wow. Which is kind of amazing. Love it. Beautiful shelving. That means that they need only more clothes. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a great setup actually for you as well because it has a Jack and Jill That's setup, so great. which is great. So they share this one bathroom. So nice. The kids could be brushing their teeth here and then wow. taking a bath in there, which so is perfect cute. set off. And I love this. This is an adorable sink, sink right? That's adorable. Girl. This kid gets a very large room yeah. with two closets. <laughs> so which is fun. So nice. Wow. Right? amazing okay so for yes. child number three yes they would also have their own Going bathroom bath. which would be amazing. amazing and bedroom with gorgeous high ceilings again ton of natural light wow. and their own closet I kind of feel like my son would want this room yeah like with his own bathroom yeah I can totally see that so right now where do you do laundry on like, you know, in my building on another floor. Exactly. I can't even imagine having it on the same Literally floor. on the same floor. Oh, it's great. Right? This it's is awesome. where the laundry generates. So yeah. why not have it up here? Totally. And then last but not least, the you master. would have your have own private master oh, suite. <laughs> which is probably the size Beautiful. of my apartment. Oh, right? Gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Very peaceful, serene. And then you wouldn't have to share a bathroom with your kitties anymore. You would have your own private spa uh, bath. This is unbelievable. Yeah, and you have a separate toilet, which we joke in real estate is the key to a happy marriage. Right? <laughs> and then... It really is beautiful. Walk-in walk -in closet. closet. <laughs> a dream. That's it. This is exactly... I mean, this is... So perfect. Wow. Could be the size of a New York City bedroom. I mean, you really right? checked every single box that I told you, you know. that we were looking for. <laughs> I mean, pretty amazing. And that was just her closet. Your husband would have his own closet oh, as well. <laughs> that is unbelievable. Yeah. Is this a full basement? Wow. I don't think it's the whole size of the I house, know. but um, it's got nice high oh, ceilings. This, is, so this is game room central, right? Oh my gosh. I would maybe have so much fun. Yes. <laughs> so what did you think? Any questions? I mean, I'm falling in love with it. I'm falling <laughs> in love with the area. I mean, the house basically checked every single box. It is my dream house. I mean, I, I just the kitchen, the bedrooms, the laundry room, the basement. You might be selling me. <laughs> <laughs> I had a feeling. I yes. feel like this is our only our first, and we still have more to go. I so we'll see. see All right, let's yeah. go. So we are going to head to the water. So Large Mon is known for its shore and the beautiful that. beaches, playgrounds, parks, and just beautiful open spaces. I love that. I'm such yeah. a beach girl. So yeah. So you're gonna get your Hamptons vibe yes, going that's on exactly here in Large what I Mon. Need. You're gonna love it. Welcome to Largemont Manor Park. We are here at the beach, just 35 minutes south right of, what, of the city. Look what you can get. It's I mean, unbelievable. I did not know that any of this existed. It's I'm just kind of in shock. So this is a Georgian brick colonial. And it was built by Walter Collette, who's a pretty famous builder, actually, in Scarsdale. Very, very well known. All right, come on in. So lots of historic details throughout this home. Definitely. Really beautiful yeah. architectural moldings and chair rail. This builder really was well known and very um, distinct for his architectural components to the home. And um, these sellers have really wanted to maintain it because that's what just they love so about nice. it. You know, Scarsdale is really about preserving these older homes, which is really nice because it keeps within the character of the I love community. That. So you have a beautiful formal living room, which they kind of use as their hangout room because why not? It has a gorgeous, yes. gorgeous wood burning fireplace. So it smells like they've actually already used it. Yes. <laughs> it's got really, really large proportions. A lot of these older homes really built with generous size sure. rooms. Here you could actually have room for a pool, wow. which is really nice and, and still be so close to the um, town. And you have lots of trees in Scarsdale. 
Yeah. We're all about our trees I here. I love it. And green open spaces, yeah. So we're gonna check out the first floor home office. Okay. Got a beautiful picture window. That is so Overlooking pretty. the park like property. Um, got great bookshelves. And this fireplace again. Yeah, so another nice. fireplace. This is the perfect office room. Yeah. Your husband will love this. A two car attached oh, garage. You would love that. Right? And then we have a gorgeous eat-in kitchen. Wow. All top of the line appliances, Viking, yeah. Sub-Zero. We'd also have a double oven in addition to your stove top, which is kind of fabulous, and two sinks. And so here we have a gorgeous formal dining room I with beautiful this. chair roll molding and just great for entertaining and it gets a lot of natural sunlight. Okay, let's check out the second floor, so another stairwell. So your kids will have to get used to walking up the stairs. So this is a really large so master bedroom. huge. Also really, wow. really peaceful. Just a beautiful space. So nice. A walk-in closet. And then you have a fabulous renovated master bath. So nice. With a jacuzzi tub oh, wow. and a built-in shower. So bedroom number two is an ensuite bedroom. So they use this as their guest room. So this one also has double exposure, so lots of nice natural so light. Nice. And then we have two fabulous kids' rooms. So one girl, wow. girls' room here. I love the also color tremendous, pink. tremendous sunlight. This is so pretty. So cute. There's son's room here, so it's oh, like a perfect so nice. setup, right? Yeah. I love that they really get fabulous. their own bathroom. They share it. Really conveniently, your kids can actually just come right down the back staircase for breakfast. So, oh, that's wonderful. Oh they come God. right down for breakfast. Oh, wow. Um, so this is awesome. This is like a true man cave. Totally <laughs> is. Right? So you even have a fireplace down here. It's got so much character with the natural stone. Can we talk about the basketball hoops <laughs> in the house? Yeah. Of course, it's like always been like a very well-known institution, even from when my dad was growing up. Um, there's tennis courts that anybody in the community can use. You pay like a $90 a summer per season, and you can use any of the courts at any time. You can take lessons. I actually play with my girlfriends once a week, which is really nice. Yeah, so it's a beautiful school. Sparzels, like you said, like the buildings and the structures are all just so well preserved yeah. and maintained. And, all right, so welcome to my hometown, Scarsdale. It's so pretty. Yes. And like cute and quaint, and I love like all the little tiny mom and pop shops. Yes, really we sweet. are really known for our architecture and really keeping within the character of the community. That. You'll notice it's mostly, you know, local businesses here. Here's our train station, I which is really that. convenient. We have ample parking for the train, which is great. Michael Rosen, I went to high school with him. He opened oh, up his so business cool. here. He also moved back. I mean, it really does say a lot about the community that's so yes. many of us alumni have moved back to the town where we grew up. All right, well that concludes our tour of the oh, suburbs for the day. I, I hope you enjoyed I it. Go, I don't know if I want to go back to the city. All right, so the big question, did I convince you to stay or go? I think you convinced me a lot more than what I was. Um, I loved both, both houses. I think they were amazing. I kind of want to come up one more time and like definitely, um, definitely get a feel. I want to like go out to eat here um, for sure. I want to take the kids and see what they think. Yep. But I really do think that my family would love it here. I think they, they really, would too, and I do. think you would make. I think it would be a great fit for you and your family. I and I'm so. glad, and I hope you enjoyed it. And um, I hope to see you again. Yes, I think Yay! you will. <laughs> All right, terrific. Thank you so much. You're welcome.